Next, we will crochet rounds 11 to 12. These two rounds consist of 66 single crochet stitches each, with no increases or decreases, ending each round with 66 stitches in total. Let me show you how it's done. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet stitch. The second single crochet stitch. Please crochet the remaining stitches on your own. At the last single crochet stitch of round 12, switch to yellow yarn, and continue crocheting. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. And rounds 11 to 12 are now complete. Moving on to rounds 13 to 15, these three rounds consist of 66 single crochet stitches each, with no increases or decreases, ending each round with 66 stitches in total. Let me show you how it's done. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet stitch. The second single crochet stitch. Please crochet the remaining stitches on your own. At the last single crochet stitch of round 15, switch to light blue yarn and continue crocheting. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. And rounds 13 to 15 are now complete. Next, we will crochet round 16 to 18 here. These three rounds consist of 66 single crochet stitches each, with no increases or decreases, ending each round with 66 stitches in total there. Let me show you how it's done there. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet stitch. The second single crochet stitch. Please crochet the remaining stitches on your own. At the last single crochet stitch of round 18, switch to dark blue yarn and continue crocheting. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. And rounds 16 to 18 are now complete. Next, we'll crochet the 19th round. In the 19th round, one set consists of nine single crochet stitches and one single crochet decrease. And we will crochet a total of six sets, ending this round with a total of 60 stitches. Now, let me show you how it's done. First, make a chain stitch. 
and then crochet 9 single crochet stitches. Next, crochet one single crochet decrease here. As you can see, a complete stitch looks like a V shape. When we make a single crochet decrease, we choose to crochet the front loop of the V, which is the half closer to us here. First, pick up half of the V from the first stitch with your hook, and then immediately pick up half of the V from the second stitch here. Now, you should have three loops on your crochet hook. Next, yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hooker. You should now have two loops on your hooker. Yarn over again and pull through both loops here. Now, our single crochet decrease is complete, and this set is also finished. Let me show you another set. And then please crochet the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, our 19th round is complete.